Monster Munch. Hello and welcome to a new type of video. This is called Monster Munch, which may sound like a strange name, but it was chosen by my daughter, who is here. Say hello. Hello. Now, she decided that she wanted this to be called Monster Munch, and also she wants to be called Monster Munch, so bear that in mind. And how old are you? Seven years old. I did know the answer to that, but, you know, just to get her to speak. This is going to be a video where she plays some Spectrum classics from the past, and basically gives her opinion on how they still stand up now to a seven-year-old. Uh, what are your current favourite games? Minecraft, um, Super Mario Maker. Okay, excellent. So we'll get on board and start the first game off. Okay, so the first game that I've picked out for you to play is Treasure Island Dizzy. Now, this, I'm going to show her the, uh, the cassette inlay right now. What do you think this game could be about? Maybe if you're trying to get some treasure and um, pirates try and hit you and, like, hit your head and you can get dizzy by it. Uh, uh, yeah, fair enough. And who do you think the main character is? Is Dizzy a name? Yeah, Dizzy's a name. Dizzy. And which one's that? Egg. Dizzy the egg? Yeah. Is that... Egg. Yeah. Is there anything weird about that? Very weird. How, how do you think an egg will control? How do you think he's going to move around? By us controlling it. Yeah, yeah, straight to the point there. Okay, so I'm going to boot this up now and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens, eh? Okay. So, there's the first screen. What do you think so far? It looks like it's going to be a fun game. Okay, and um, do you think it's going to be easy or hard? Very, very, very hard. <laughs> well, you've, you're definitely right on that one. Okay, just a second. I think you can use the joystick on this, so I'll just grab you one. Okay, so let's get you started. So that was, that was exactly the thing that I did when I first played this game as a kid. What do you think happened there? It, um, there was like a rope thing and then I just walked upside down and I have no idea what just happened. So you, uh, you thought that was a rope on the right hand side? Yeah, it looks like it. Do you want to start again and, and just double check what that might be? Yes. I was supposed to avoid that. What do you think it is? It's trying to keep you away from the treasure. Yeah, but what do you think that white wavy line might be? I still think it's a rope. That is the sea. I thought that before, but you can't go upside down in sea. No, Dizzy, Dizzy drowns as soon as he walks in. Oh. So how am I supposed to get to the treasure? You're not, you're not supposed to get that treasure yet. You have to go the other way. Okay. Oh. Oh. I just did a front flip. Now with this, you press up to jump. just keeps jumping and not going on it. It's not doing it high enough. What do you think you might have to do? Triple jump. No, nope, no triple jumping in Dizzy. Uh, have a look on the screen. Is there something? Is there something there that you might be able to pick up? Treasure. There's a treasure. There's a treasure chest in front of me. Okay, I've got it. Okay, and where do you think you could put that treasure chest to help you? Put it on top so I can stand on it and then jump. Okay, good. So in order to do that, you have to keep pressing that button that you use to pick it up. Because these things up here, oh yeah, yeah, what you're carrying. There you go. And then, yeah, you did it. Why is it not letting me pick the coin? Oh, I didn't press that. Why is it not picking the coin? 
It just keeps falling away. Oh. Would you would you say that dizzy is easy or difficult to control? Difficult. Mm. How am I supposed to get the coin? <laughs> Yeah, I love the I love the way that your experience with this is exactly the same as mine at the the same age. You have to jump at, at the right point to make him stop on top. I'll give you a hint. Just ignore the coin and carry on. Okay. That's not really a hint to get it, but buy a coin. Oh, it's a say Oh, that's a bridge. Oh, you got hit by the fire and you're dead. <laughs> do you want to start all over again or do you want to move on to a different game? Move, I do not like that game. What are your final thoughts on Treasure Island, Dizzy? If I understand the rules better, I think I'd like it more. I, uh, I'm not sure you would. Okay. Okay, moving on to the second game. I'm going to show you the cassette in there. This one is called Horace Goes Skiing. What do you think this one's about? Like a person going skiing. A person? What do you reckon that is there? Um, I can't think of anything. Um, yeah, I'm not surprised really. That thing there, that blue blob thing, that's called Horace. Is the Horace an animal or something? I kind of think he's like a bobble hat with legs. I think he looks like Pom Pom with legs. Pom Pom with legs, there we go. Uh, what do you reckon you have to do in this game before we start? You have to control him so he's moving different ways, like skiing down a hill. You've got half of it right. The first half, you have to cross a busy road. If you get to the skiing part on this, I will give you a pound. Yay! Getting across this busy road is going to be the hardest thing you've ever done in your life. Okay, here we are. What do you reckon to that title screen? Why does it keep flashing? That's uh, that's pretty much what every title screen in uh, 1982 did. Why did it do that? And why is it doing and why is it doing squares? Well, this is showing you what the game looks like now that it's come on. This is demo mode, so that's the busy road that you're going to have to cross. You got to get to your skis at the bottom, and then go back across the road. You reckon you're going to be able to do that? Nope. Where am I? At? Oh, I'm at the top there. Yep. Trying to get the right point. <laughs> oh, first, first, <laughs> first crash. <laughs> They're going fast as well. Oh, so close. I got past, I got past the first one though. Yes! Do I get a pound then? No, you gotta get back over the road and go skiing. <clears throat> oh, I'm okay, I think this is your last, your last ten dollars to get back over the road. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh! <laughs> Unlucky. Do you want another go? Yeah, and I stopped and then it just kept walking. Yeah, he does that. Ah, oh, see, no money to ski. Right, gonna have another go. There's a pound on the line. Are you ready? I'm ready! I stopped again. It just came by the corner when I went past. Wah, wah. No money, no ski. What do you think to that game then? I liked it better than the You liked it better than Treasure Island, Dizzy? Yes. What's the best thing about the game so far? I like it when you have to try and get across the road. That's pretty much all you saw of the game, to be fair, isn't it? Yeah, mostly. Okay, next game then. Okay, so the final game for this, we're going to play a game called Mr. Wino. There's the cassette in there. What do you think this could be about? Blueberry trying to get to wine on the other side. 
Do you? You also think he's a blueberry? Do you think he's a particularly ugly-looking blueberry? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's pretty much how I described him. So that's strange. Um, is there anything weird about the fact that he's got lots of bottles of wine? Blueberries don't drink wine. That's correct. Blueberries do not drink wine. And Mr. Wino also says that drinking is not for kids. Drinking is for kids. We need to stay hydrated. That's true. She's got a point there. Right, okay. Let's get this game started. Do you have any idea what you have to do? Nope. See those blue bottles? Yeah. You need to get all of those blue bottles. Why is it wine in it? Yeah, he he really needs to be hydrated. I do. Two of three. Do you reckon you can get that last one? Um, I probably have to jump on something to get it. What do you think you'll have to jump on? Um, the pink blocks. Okay, are you going to try and do that then? I can't. <laughs> Is that a spike or something? Yeah, those are spikes. Oh yeah, you have to jump across. <laughs> so, do you want to try that again? Nope. What did you think of that game? Thumbs down. It's a no for Mr. Wino. Okay, so you've played three games. Treasure Island Dizzy. Horace Goes Skiing and Mr. Wino. Which one was your favourite? Um, Treasure Island to see. Even though you just previously said that you liked Horace Goes Skiing more than Treasure Island to see. Yeah. That's the, that's the logic of a child right there, isn't it? What did you like most about Treasure Island Dizzy? Where after where I kept drowning in the sea. Your favourite part was when you kept drowning in the sea. Funny. Excellent. Well, there we go. That's uh, that's your recommendation from a seven-year-old for uh, for this episode. Uh, thanks everyone for watching, and uh, goodbye from Monster Munch. Give a big thumbs up. I think that was supposed to be goodbye. Okay, bye.